is the first bait making video I've recorded on my phone in in years. But hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Rex Bates, you know me. I'm Porter. Uh, we're building something today. I already have something else hanging up for Instagram or whatever. But I guess I'll get right into it. I guess we're building that. It's a small shad. <laughs> I, I now realize this, but tomorrow, Saturday, I'm going to be uploading the 24-hour challenge, which is I've been waiting to upload for years because I lost half the footage, but now I've found it. Anyhow, I have it edited. I'm posting that tomorrow, so this is probably, like, two weeks from now video. Uh, speaking of which, only only uh, one upload a week now because that two uploads is too much. I'm so smart. I even had my mom pick up some scissors at the store. A few weeks ago, so now I have scissors to cut out my lures out of the paper instead of instead of knives, which is quite uh quite handy to have scissors around the workshop, especially when you're doing like scale work and stuff. Which is why this is gonna be a two day video, so because I also need to clear coat this and put scales on it. So so I did not mention this, but uh. We're using poplar. That's all the further for sandpaper I'm gonna go for now. Uh, all the higher I'm gonna go for now, but then I'm going to drill, now I'm going to drill the uh, lead holes and uh, the eye sockets, and then I'm going to sand up to uh, 320, but also I'm gonna do a, like a light, light spot of 2,000 something, or yeah, 2,500 grip, so. I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing right now. Small swim baits are super hard for me to build. Really just small lures overall, but when they're swim baits, it makes it all worse. <coughs> I've changed my mind in one department. I've decided I'm not going to put a tail fin on it. I'm just going to have the hook flinging behind it to enact the tail. So, we're only doing two hooks, one joint, one line tie, because I've actually seen lures with multiple line ties, and it's kind of awesome to me. Been like an hour and a half-ish, but I got the lead poured. I think you all, you saw that. But I got the lead poured and uh, super glue baking soda. What else did I do? I cut it in half. That's new. Uh, now all we need to do is put the hardware in, paint, clear coat, paint a second time, and then the the wire connections. So we still have like half a lure to build. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're doing these. The uh, this thing. <laughs> Got them all ready to put in the bait, so... Uh, actually, really, this is only gonna be possibly like a 10 minute video. That'd be impressive if I could 
fit a whole lure bowling <coughs> section into a 10 minute video, whole lure building video into 10 minutes. That would be phenomenal. Instead of having like multiple different parts. I mean even 15 minutes because most of these are like half an hour, I know. Really, really long videos, but... What you gonna do? Super glue on the uh, screw wire there. And now we're going to put it in the bait. <laughs> Uh, on to painting <coughs> but we're also going to do some scales on this beast of a lure huge bait <laughs> Okay, so, um, we have that ready to get its first clear coat, because then we're going to do golden scales, or maybe even copper scales, but here's some more, I'm not quite done with painting for today, because I am going to do a couple clips for my Instagram, so go check out my Instagram, uh, I'm going to put some scales on some lures, so, see you on Instagram. Hi, remember me? Well, um, I just finished editing, like, ten minutes ago, what you just saw, and, uh, um, <coughs> it's a week later, a little over a week, actually, we finally have the eyes for this bait, it looks beautiful, and it needs one more clear coat, but what we're really here for <coughs> is to watch me die, but... We're, a <laughs> We're actually here to see this. We're going to put uh, some sort of scales on it. I forgot my paint is in the house, so I have to go retrieve that. Got him. Paints are here. I have too many. Well, actually, that's just the right amount. I just need more shelves and a heater. We're we might actually get a space heater today. I'm going to go to Walmart, hopefully and get a space heater so I'll be able to pump out some more videos. Plan is we are going for uh, some golden scales. Wow, that was upside down. Golden scales over that. It's actually kind of a pretty little swim bait. Actually, the most recent swim bait I've made was this summer, and it was this. <laughs> Good size, uh, very fat, um, largemouth bass. Do you remember what I said about having scissors around the shop is quite handy? Because now we're doing scale work and I need to uh, cut uh, cut out pieces of uh, window screen. Ta-da! I don't know if you can see it because of reasons, but I have four minutes and then I'll have my like my life goal. Which is, that's a complete lie. My life goal is not to have a 10 minute long bait making video. It just isn't. Okay. Does it turn out good? How do I? Oh boy. Oh boy, that's one of my, that's probably some of my top scale work. Wow, it does not want to focus in. Focus there. You can barely, barely see it. Whoa, it's a lot more vivid on that side, but. That's okay. That's pretty good. I like that. Okay, 
Let's see about this one. Oh, well, that's one way. I forgot to uh, hit it with the heat gun, but it looks good. It looks really good. And now I just need to make a stencil real quickly, and then we can start painting some scales on, or a uh, gill, gill plate on there. Okay, so this was my very first time spray, or yeah, airbrushing gills. So don't go too hard on me. <laughs> don't be hard on me. That's my first ever spray, spray on gill with a stencil. So I think it's good. I think it looks good. But I don't know what you think. Uh, let's choose out the eyes and give it a clear coat, and then we'll put it together. I chose some, like, very standard yellow eyes, so we're just gonna use those. While I put- while I put this eye on, I wanna tell you guys a story. Ooh, that was a lot of super glue. Uh, so yesterday, I impaled my pinky finger. You can see the red dot there. I impaled my pinky finger while trying to open up my super glue with a piece of wire. And yes, the, the it was it's one of my small wires that I use for lure building. But it went it felt like a needle. It went all the way through. It went in there and came out there. Relatively large wound. <laughs> but it was kind of just a cool experience to me. We had a couple friends over. Oh no, I have dropped the super glue. <laughs> this thing is the culprit. But we had a couple friends over. They all thought it was... <laughs> yep, thank you, phone. Uh, they all thought it was scary and weird. But I thought it was a fun experience. So, if you ever have a friend who... uh. Who thinks getting impaled, getting his pink, his finger impaled is cool? Then you have a friend who's like me. Ooh, that's a nice looking bait. That is a nice looking bait. I'm enjoying this. Gold scales, black gill, yellow eye. Okay, let's clear coat this bad boy. Isn't it wonderful just hanging here by the fireplace? See in like an hour when I do the secondary coat. Okay, so we just dipped it back in the polyacrylic. And, um, I'll give it like two hours this time to fully harden before I put the bait together. Like all the way, like, with super glue and stuff. Okay, so, um, last night, yes, la the last clip was last night, I have now put three coats of poly uh, polyacrylic on this bait. So I just need to uh, put this thing together and then I guess I can end the video. Isn't that right? This has been a lovely short video. Lovely. I might even put a second one up this week. Well, when I say this week, I mean the week, this, the week that this is uploaded. Because I am not putting any more up this week because it is currently Tuesday and our upload schedule is going to be Mondays. Every Monday, hopefully. And maybe a couple extra. Because I'm bored. <laughs> okay, so I've made a mistake in most of my videos. That's not showing you the finished product. I have never glued a bait together and shown you it in a whole in the whole video. In all in one video. I haven't shown you the whole fish. That is the lure. Finished. I'm gonna go test it in the hot tub. I'm not gonna bring you with me because it's dark. If you've enjoyed the video, I thank you for enjoying the video. I've built this lure. It took me a long time to build it, but uh, the video is only 10 minutes, or 12 or something like that, 15 something. It's a shorter video, is what I'm trying to say. If you've enjoyed the video, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.